all welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having a fabulous day now today is going to be a bit different i will be showing my vacation vlog i did vlog most of the vacation so that i can come and show you guys what we did the food the activities and all that stuff just something different you know to create content for the channel so yes we were on the royal caribbean cruise uh and it was fantastic guys and this is when we were actually boarding we were going to the terminal to board the ship and this is when we were already on the ship and this is the whole scenery and all that stuff like the whole experience was great this was my first time going on a cruise my husband he been a few times but me and the kids we've never been on a cruise before and it was a great experience so this is when we were already on the ship this part we were in the bahamas i think and that was the ship opposite to us this here is when you know inside of the actual ship the ship was called oasis of the seas and this is inside of the ship let me tell you it's like a whole city island in there it has everything you could possibly think of and it was just amazing <laughs> So basically I split everything up into parts like you'll see all the activities that were there you'll see I will show some parts of the ship inside the different areas then I placed the food separately because I feel like I wanted that to be special since it's like a cooking channel I just put the food segment separate and yeah that's basically it here is the pool area where they have all the water the pool the hot tubs all that stuff they also had like the separate part for just adults which we never went over there because we were with our kids and we didn't have a babysitter so we didn't get to do a lot of adult stuff most stuff we were doing were for the kids you know but we still had a great vacation because once you go on a vacation and you could get to relax put your feet up have a drink have some food whatever and just be at peace that's all you need basically like sometimes it's not even about doing a whole bunch of stuff and activities it's just about relaxing and that's exactly what we did so this was you know like a surfing thing that people were doing and stuff and then you had the pot pot golf everyone was doing that as well it had like a whole lot of activities on the ship like i could not believe that the ship had all this stuff on it like it was so shocking to me but yeah it was a great experience and i would do this again but you know i would leave the kids home next time so that me and my husband can get the full experience you know like everything is great to do at least once in your life and i really would advise you know if you have not yet been on a cruise you should do it like at least once it is very very awesome So this here was like the mall area, the area that you would go to purchase stuff. They had like duty free liquor, jewelry, you know, brand name items. They had all types of stuff in there that you could actually purchase. And this was that area. They also had this uh, robotic or machine that was making drinks for you. You could actually go pay and it would actually fix up the drink. And I thought that was so cool look how it's fixing the drinks like soon these machines are going to replace real people because we won't have any jobs since they have the machines doing everything <laughs> They also had this bar that you could actually sit in and it would travel up and down with you as you have your drinks. I also thought that was cool and you know it had a lot of cool stuff on the ship. It was just fun to watch. This here is the actual pool area again but at nights when everyone was you know asleep and it closed down. I just love how beautiful it looked with the lights and all that stuff.
this is the main dining room you know it's nice and elegant and when you get all dressed up and stuff you would actually go have your dinner here it's huge it had like three floors and this is the actual theater that they keep you know shows and all that stuff in there and this was one of the shows we went to it was called love and marriage it's like a game show with some couples and you know it was really fun we also went to another one uh, for the kids and this is just me showing off my outfit <laughs> this was when we actually came off the ship and we went to the beach but it was super cloudy now three times they let you off the ship one time in orlando uh, we didn't come off in Orlando because we went there before we went to Disney so we stayed on a ship and we only came off once and that day it was super cloudy and it was raining my son was miserable we did not spend a long time we went back onto the ship I was mad because we should have get off the ship the day before when it was nice and sunny and you'll see some footage of the day when it was you know more appropriate to go on the beach and that was just our loss, but we still had fun anyway. So this was when we got to the Bahamas. And this was the perfect day for the beach. It was nice and sunny and just beautiful outside. But we were banking on the day after, you know, and this, the weather was not good. So that was our loss. This was actually our rooms. We were facing like the ocean and, you know, the ocean is what we fell asleep and woke up to. And it was absolutely amazing. So this here is the kids activities you know when they were having their fun my son he loves the slide he just wanted to go up and down and up and down and trust me he just tired us out <laughs> my daughter she's super adventurous and athletic so she was doing everything she was doing the slides she did zip line she did you know uh, the wall climbing or rock climbing whatever you call it she did all the activities and she had lots and lots of fun it was her birthday too one of the days and you know this was just the perfect birthday gift and this is just me relaxing and you know my son there's not enough fun in the world for him to not watch coco melon he has to watch his coco melon so that's him there when he got tired just watching his coco melon Huh? I thought it would be a lot slower. Oh, it's going? Yeah. How did this part feel right here? The actual... The storm, when you got the storm part. Awesome, you did it. High five. And then it dropped down. Huh? And then it dropped down. <laughs> and I dropped out in my nose. <laughs> you want to go for uh, some tacos or some... Uh, uh, nachos or anything? Okay. Right. Here's my daughter doing the zip line. You know, she's super brave. So she was doing all that stuff. She also climbed the wall all the way up to the top without falling, which was no surprise. My husband shouting in the background, just egging her on. <laughs> you know, she was so embarrassed, but that's him always motivating there you go don't put your legs up so far give yourself room to push up there you go use your legs there you go you got it you got it good job Going good. Good job. Stay focused. 
focused, stay focused. All right, look for the rope. Use your legs coming down. Use your legs. Stay to the wall, use your legs, there you go. So right where you see the blue water, that's where they keep like the water shows and stuff. We couldn't get a good shot because I was far away. But yeah, that's it right there. And it's so beautiful. It's like these acrobatic shows where they're hanging in the sky and stuff. And dancing on the water and whatnot. And it was so good. Now I went back into the mall area to show you guys the vintage car that they usually have there. And people would go take pictures and all that stuff. It was adorable. So this is a central park area, you know, the part that you would go take your little walks, you can take pictures, you can have coffee, whatever. It was just peaceful and it was beautiful out there. Now, there was much more to show, but we didn't get to show everything because, you know, sometimes you want to enjoy a vacation and you don't want to be pulling out the camera everywhere you go and all that stuff. You just want to enjoy the moment. So we didn't film everything, but there was much more, like I said, to be filmed and they had a lot of adult stuff and activities which we did not get to do really because we had to spend time with our kids since we didn't have a babysitter. But I did insert some photos of the family and I so you guys can have a look at that and next we'll move on to the food. So this is the food segment and you had like the main dining room as I showed you guys earlier. They had the buffet section and they had a few other restaurants. Now to be honest, the main dining room, the food was not that good in there. But the buffet, that was the best food. The food was excellent. I think they say they hired like 300 chefs from all over the world and they were cooking the food and the food tasted so authentic. It was so good. I could not believe it because usually in my opinion, when you go to the buffet, buffet food is never good because I don't know if it's because they cook a lot of it and the food loses the flavor and taste or they skimp on ingredients, but usually buffet food isn't good. But this was excellent. It tasted great. You had foods from all over the world, international. They had the international section and every day they would cook something different. Indian, Asian, Mediterranean, American, Caribbean. I even found some dal and rice there. And I was so happy because that's a part of my culture. You know, of course, it wasn't exactly like Guyanese style dal, but you could taste all of the spices in there, the masala, the jeera and all that stuff. And it, it was so good you know and let's talk about when, when i got to the caribbean food i had some oxtail some rice and peas curry goat jerk chicken and the jerk chicken was seasoned well like real down to the bone 
I was so tempted to chew them bones, but <laughs> I had to have some manners, you know. But yeah, it was great. I cannot complain. And what I like is that you didn't have to go to all those countries to experience these different cultures of food. They were all there in one place, you know? But some of them I've never tasted before. I never really had Mediterranean food and stuff. So I was happy to taste what their food tasted like. And it was good. They had this fish that they made from there. And I think I'm going to try it. I got to go look it up. And I'm going to try the recipe. It was so delicious. I also had the best bread pudding I ever tasted there. Like, I, I've tasted a lot of bread pudding. But this one, mm -mm, this beats all. It was so good, I'm telling you. I think I gained like 8 to 10 extra pounds on that cruise. Because I was eating, you know, you could eat all you want. You know, as much as you like and all that stuff. I was just eating some days, I would say. You know what? I'm not going to eat that much today because I want to look snatched in my swimsuit. You see when I get in the room with the food? Mm, all that gone out the window. I start eating, eating, eating. <laughs> it was so funny. But that's what you do on a cruise, you know. You eat, you relax, and you just do activities. And lastly, let's talk about the service. The service was amazing. Like people were waiting on you hand and foot. You know, they were just there, anything you need, like they would, you know, get it. They would make sure you're okay. They would be cleaning around the clock. Everything was clean, sanitized, and you know, it made you feel safe. And that's what I liked. Like everything was well organized. You, it, they really made you feel royal like royalty because you know as you know it's royal caribbean cruise and it was an amazing experience so i hope i brought you guys as much information as possible so if you've never been on a cruise and you like to try it i would say go for it like it's a great experience and it's good to try it at least once in your lifetime so i thank you all for watching and have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next, you know, recipe. When I upload my next recipe, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.